Okay, a good Nerev Shabbos and a good Rosh Chodesh on this second day of uh, Rosh Chodesh Elul, Yom Aleph Shalel. We heard the Shofar this morning, which reminds us, Uri Yeshenim Mishinaschev, and Shofar stands for Shapru Maseichem, to better our ways. We said the holy capital of the David Hashem, Ori for the first time, Ashkenazim already said it twice, Svayanim only said it once, you'll say it a second time by Mincha. We are holding by Mishnah Zion and Ches, sponsored by the Fisher family, Lilo Nishmas Basia Bas Robert, Shlomo ben Avram Alevi, Peril Bas Ruben, and Shamashid Avon Aliyah. Also, Lilo Nishmas Chasia Bas Shlomo, Lerfu Shlema, Feli Yom Moshe Mechai Sara, the Schus of Avram bin Yom Benish, Ben Malk Yudas, and family, uh, also dedicated by your Klugman and family for their Gazun, Parnas, and Achas. We also uh, learn from my dear Shver, Avigdor Arya ben Rivka, and from Mayor ben Chayesara, you should have a Rufu Shalema Besech Shachar Yisrael. So when they get two valid witnesses that said that the 30th uh, night they sighted the, the new moon, Rosh Bezdin Aymer, the head of the Bezdin, says, Mekudish, the new month is sanctified. Bekala on Aynim Akrav and all of the nation nearby answers after in a chorus Mekudish Mekudish it is sanctified and is sanctified Ben Shinir Bismana they do this even if it's seen on the 30th day declaring that the 30th day is Reish Chaydish Ben Shinir Bismana on the 31st day where even if they wouldn't have declared it it would automatically become Reish Chaydish but still there's a mitzvah to be Mekachin I say to sanctify it Rabbi Lazar of Tzaddik, I mean, Rabbi Lazar of Tzaddik says on the 31st day they don't have to sanctify. Rabbi Lazar of Tzaddik, I mean, lay near of his money if it wasn't seen on the 30th day. A Mekach and I say, Bezdin doesn't have to declare it Mekudish. Shekfar Kitshu Shemayim, because it's automatically sanctified by heaven, because it's either the 30th day or the 31st day. Mishnah Ches tells us, Demus Tzuras Levanus. Rabbi Gamliel had different shapes of the moon uh, hanging on his wall and either on a table or on a tablet in the attic where he reviewed the potential witnesses. With them he would show the people that came to testify did you see like this or did you see like that they weren't able to uh, gauge the, the width of the sliver of the new moon uh, how, the, the, uh, how, how it looked so he showed them uh, you know possible images an incident happened where, where two witnesses came and said Ra'inua Shakris Ba we saw the old moon in the morning on the east, and the new moon in the west in the evening. Now, that's not possible because there has to be a 24-hour uh, span between the old moon and the new moon. In other words, it's 24 hours where you cannot see it. So therefore, Amr of Yechim and Nuri, Eidei they are false witnesses. However, Kishiboli Yavna, when they arrived at Yavna, Kiblon, Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi Gamliel accepted them. Rabbi Gamliel said that they're, according to his astronomical calculations, they were right about the sighting of the new moon. And the old moon, they, he figured they made a mistake. They saw uh, a, a cloud and they thought it was the moon. The old Boshnaim Vamru, two witnesses came and said, Rinu Bismanai. We saw it on the night of the 30th. However, Obaleli Burai Lainira, on the night of the 31st, in a clear sky, it wasn't seen. And yet, Mekiblon Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbi Gamliel accepted them. Again, Rabbi Gamliel was, uh, with his astronomical calculations, he established that the new moon was expected on the 30th. The fact that we didn't see it on the 31st, it must be that there was clouds. Amr of Daisa ben Hurkanes, Eide Shekere. No, they had to be false. Because if, if it was a clear sky and they saw it on the 30th, we should definitely see it on the 31st. I mean, Heichme Eden Ali Shishiyoda, how could you give 
testimony on a woman that she gave birth, and the next day she's visibly pregnant. So obviously that's false testimony that she gave birth. So you can see the new moon on the 30th, and then on the 31st there's no moon in the sky. Amala Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Yeshua says, I agree with Rabbi Daisi ben Herkines. You can't accept the testimony of the new moon on the 30th because it wasn't seen on the 31st. And therefore, automatically, the 31st is Reish Kodesh and not like they said the 30th. We want to thank you very much for joining us. If you are coming for the Daf Yomi on Matzai Shabbos, Matzai Shabbos is Daf Yomi, is Be'ez Hashem at 10.15. Throughout the week, next week, it's at 8.15 at zoomdaf.com. You'd like to sponsor the Chumash here, we uh, welcome you to call 718-916-3100, rmmwsi at aol.com. Uh, on YouTube, we have some fascinating shiurim on my YouTube channel. You could get the Q&A that I gave at the Yergen Shirei Taira. Interesting questions about AI, about extraterrestrials, about grandchildren. There's also a shir that I gave in Rabbi Obam Shul about six years ago about Tshuva, Tefillah, and Sadaka. There's a shir that I gave to Gesh Ladas Seminary about uh, doing Tshuva. So there's a lot of stuff. Uh, also there's for the Elul Shabbos table that I posted on Torah anytime that come on YouTube on Kalalashin. So a lot to look at. Thank you for joining us. Have a good Chaydesh and a good Shabbos.